Yes. Thank you. Okay, good morning, everyone. Hope you're all well. So today we're going to do animal habitats, okay? Very awesome topic to learn. And you guys are going to be very involved in my lesson, and I hope you're excited. I missed you all, and it's great to see you all again after I haven't seen you in forever. Okay, so today we'll be learning about habitats. Okay, I want you to think about things animals need to survive. So we're going to take a few seconds to think about what do animals need to survive? And then I'm going to ask you one by one, what do animals need to survive? Okay. So Eric, can you tell me what do animals need to survive? Um, food, water, and the right habitat. Awesome. Thank you. Ria, what do animals need to survive? Um, they need food, water, and things to eat. Awesome. Jody? What do animals need to survive? Saxon, what do animals need to survive, my babe? Food and water. Awesome. Amy, what do animals need to survive? Water and air. Very good. Air. One wasn't mentioned, it was air. Very cool. Okay, so you know where you live, right? We all live in houses. When we see animals on the road, like a squirrel, we don't know where they live. We know that they're there, but we don't know where all the animals live. A habitat is a place where animals live in natural home or environment of a plant or other organisms. Habitat provide animals with food, water, and a place to live. Things that you mentioned are very important for someone or an animal for their habitat. There are two factors that make up a habitat, abiotic and biotic factors. Abiotic is non-living, so things like air, temperature, water, and biotic are living things like fungi and bacteria and animals. Those are things that are living. Shh. Sit and think about certain things I'm going to ask you now. I'm going to ask each of you one question at a time. Where do animals come from? Think about that. What do animals eat? Do animals need anything to stay safe from predators? Do they hide their food away from other animals? So, Eric, can you answer for me, where do animals come from? Um, well, um, the birds, I definitely know birds come from dinosaurs. Yes. And lots of other animals came from, well, Ice Age animals. That's very interesting. Thank you. Mammals came from that. That's awesome. Thank you, Eric. Ria, can you answer for me what do animals eat? Uh, sometimes they eat other animals and they eat some food. Okay, thank you. Jody, can you tell me do animals need anything to stay safe from predators? Um, I don't think so. Okay, thank you. Saxon, do they hide their food away from other animals? You have to unmute yourself so we can hear you. That. Can you answer that for me again? Do they hide their food away from other animals? Maybe. Okay, thank you. And Amy, can you tell me, do animals stay in their shelters all the time? 
Not, not really. They go, okay. sometimes they go out and they come, sometimes they go in. Okay, awesome. Thank you, guys. Okay, so there are different habitats and shelters for different animals. Okay, an animal needs mainly five things to survive. Okay, food, water, air, and a shelter to raise their young. Okay, very important. Just like us, we have a house with food, water, and air, and our family lives with us. Yes? Okay. There are different animals that need different amounts of space to live in. So a rabbit and an elephant don't have the same space that they can live in, correct? Habitats can be large like the ocean and small like a little burrow for a rabbit. Okay, so there are different sizes of habitats. Okay, there are some big animals like elephants that defend a huge territory or roam all over a large area. Okay, so a cat and a dog and an elephant all have different kinds of habitats. There are some common habitats that for a large amount of animals, okay? There are certain animals that all live in the same area, which we'll discuss now, okay? Think about different kinds of habitats you would know, okay? And we're going to speak about five today. So we're going to speak about five different habitats that we want to discuss. So one is grassland habitat, desert, freshwater, ocean, and ice, okay? Our first one, right, is grass, okay? Grassland is a habitat where elephants live, tigers live, lions live, okay? A huge amount of animals live on a grassland. Grassland habitats receive more rain than deserts, but less rain than forests. Mostly plants like grasses that don't need much water. Okay, so in order for an animal to survive in a grassland, we don't need much water, okay, to keep the food process going, okay? Our next habitat is the desert. Okay, the desert is super dry. And it also looks like we can't have much life that lives on a desert because it's so dry. But in actual fact, it's full life that live in the desert, okay? Most plants survive without water, like cacti. Cacti doesn't need much rain to have water. It stores its water inside its thorns, okay? Kangaroo and rats get water from the food they eat in the desert. So they eat little seeds that have so much water inside, they don't need to drink water, okay? There are certain kinds of carnivores that get liquid from their prey, okay? Let me tell you another trick about the desert. Animals stay underground and underneath shelter. During the night, they come out and hunt. So the reason for them to stay underneath is because they want to keep cool because it's so hot in the desert. Eric, what did you want to ask me? Also, camels can store water in their humps. That is correct. Very cool. Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, the next one we're doing is fresh water. Okay, fresh water like crocodiles and fish, okay, live in the fresh water. River creeks, lakes, ponds, and streams are all fresh water habitats. Okay, fresh water accounts for only 3% of the world. So the other percentage is the ocean. Just because it's only 3% fresh water, it doesn't mean that there isn't a huge amount of species. 100,000 species of plants and animals live in the fresh water. That's a huge amount. The next one we're going to do is ocean. So oceans is that other percent we were talking about. Oceans help keep the earth climate habitable, which means we can live there. Okay? Moving water around the globe helps places getting too hot or too cold. So it helps, the ocean helps us from getting too hot or too cold. Oceans keep the planet warm, okay, so it stores the heat in the ocean. If it didn't do that, we would be surrounded by us, okay, we don't want that, hey. Remember that the reflection from the ocean gives us the blue sky, that's very cool. The last one we're going to do is ice, so ice is very cold there, polar bears live there, seals live there, okay, the 
Arctic average is minus degrees all the time. It is freezing there. It's not like our winter where we still can walk around and be normal. They, we have, they have to be covered, earmuffs, everything. It's freezing cold there. In the South Pole, it's even colder than the Antarctic. Okay, it's chilly in the polar regions and they have two seasons, summer and winter. In summer, the sun is out all day, but it's still freezing cold there, even with the sun out. In winter, it is dark the whole day because the sun doesn't rise. It is extremely cold in the ice. Okay, so I'm going to ask each of you, what is your favorite habitat and why? So think about that for a few seconds. Your favorite habitat and why is it your favorite habitat? Eric. Mm, grassland because lions live there. And did you know some seals like the harp seal live in the North Pole? Really? That's super cool. Yes. Thank you. And that's how polar bears hunt seals. You are so smart. Thank you for sharing that with us. Jody, your favorite habitat and why? I'm still thinking about it. Okay, I'll come back to you. Amy, your favorite habitat and why? It's a polar bear and because it's white. My white is my a favorite color of mine. And yes. So your favorite habitat is ice. Yes. Awesome. Ria, why um your favorite habitat and why? Um I like when the polar bears are really white and they can really slide on the um, ice. Very cool, thank you. Saxon, your favorite habitat and why? Um, ocean. Why? Um, I, I like sharks and yes. Slow. Awesome, thank you. Say again, Saxon. Um, when I went on the rug, rubber hike, I passed a whole bunch of se seals and you could smell from two miles away. It was smelly and disgusting. Wow. <laughs> thank you for um, sharing. So, D, your favorite habitat and why? <laughs> okay, why? Because I can dig with my brother. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. Eric, what did you want to say, boy? Um, another name for uh, ice, uh, the ice land is Tundra. Sure. Thank you for sharing that with us, Eric. Guys, we're learning so much from each other. Thank you for sharing all your things with me. Okay, so in your activities that you are going to complete for Friday, there is a sentence that you're going to complete. So I'm going to tell you the sentence and I'm going to complete it. And when you do your worksheets for Friday, you're going to see how you're going to complete your sentence. And it's in your activity, I'll tell you now, activity two in your worksheet. <coughs> Okay, so it says, I agree that something could survive in something because of something. So I'm going to finish my sentence by saying, I agree that an elephant could survive in the grassland because it is huge amount of space for them and they can eat whenever they want. Okay, so you're going to finish your sentence in your worksheet when you do your Friday. Okay, you will also be drawing your very own poster of your favorite animal plant in 
their habitat. Okay, so you're going to design a full poster, which is activity three of the animal habitat. Okay. So let's talk about different animal homes. Okay. Um, Eric, please will you mute your video, please? And Saxon. Thank you. Right, so let's talk about different animal homes. Birds, birds live in a nest. They make their nests out of grass, mud, twigs. Rabbits, rabbits have, live in burrows. So they dig up their burrows to make a shelter. Mice, mice live in holes. So a mice will dig up their holes to live in. A spider makes cobwebs. So that's their house, a cobweb. They spin their cobwebs and that's where they live. A honeybee lives in a hive. They make their hives out of honey. We make homes for domestic animals. So we love animals so much that we make homes for domestic animals. So like cows live in a shed. Dogs live in a kennel. Horses live in a stable. So now that you know a lot about animal homes and animals are our friends, why, this is why we make homes for them. We should take care of them. Okay. So who loves stories? Put up your hand who loves a story. I love stories. Who loves stories? Okay, thank you. So we are going to read a story called Listen to Our World. I'm going to share the story with you on the screen, and you're going to follow it, and I'm going to read it to you. Can you all see it? Clap your hand if you can see it. Okay, awesome. So this story is called Listen to Our World, okay? And it says, listen. So you must use your ears to listen to the story. And at the end of the story, I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? So this story was written by Michael, and it was to his grandson. Read Samson and to Lulu and Levi Melissa Sweet. Okay, so they wrote the story for their grandchildren. Okay, for them to understand stuff about habitat. It's a very cool story. Okay, so that's a cool picture. Right, in the morning, mommy gives us wake up kisses and says, Good morning, little one. Can you hear the sound of our world? So we know that our world is so big. Okay. And we can hear the sounds. Listen, listen, listen. Around the giant kibbutz tree, bright parrots flit and fly the rainforests in their world. Squack, squack, squack. Near the tall cacti, near the tall cactus, gilly monsters crawl the desert is their world. So that's where they live. Hiss, hiss, hiss. High above the mountain peaks, eagles saw the wilderness is their world. We are, we are, we are. In the dense canopy, monkeys swing on vines. The jungle is the world. In the green undergrowth, baby pandas chew on spout. The bamboo forest is their world. Brr, brr, brr. Snap, snap, snap. In the ozy swamp, crop, crocodiles glide and the algae. Sorry, guys. I can't see the rest of the book. Okay. In the grassy savanna, kangaroos hop the outback is their world. Click, click, click. On the rolling plain, lions pants the savanna is their world. Rawr, rawr, rawr. On a freezing glacier, black and white, penguins waddle the South Pole is their world. Ha, 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 ha. And that's obviously them being cold. In the refreshing oasis, elephants find cool water. The grassland is their world. Unk, unk, unk. In the 
blue sea whales swim through the waves. The ocean is their world. Wah, wah, wah. At night, mommy gives us good night kisses and says, sweet dreams, my little ones. All is well in our world. It's about the animals in this book. So obviously we've now spoken about the habitat. Yes, some animals that were in the book that have their habitat. So a gilly monster's habitat is the desert. The gilly monsters are lizards that live in the southwestern United States and the Mexican state of Sonora. They are poisonous but slow and really bite humans. The gilly monster in this book lives in a Sonora desert in Mexico, in the North America. A parrot's habitat is a tropical rainforest. Parrots live in the tropical rainforest and like to fly around dying to put feet. The colorful parrot is the book lives in Brazil in South America. An eagle habitat, mountains and lake regions. Eagles live in many places in the world. They love to soar above mountains and lakes. The bald eagle in the book lives in Alaska, in United States in North America. Monkeys. Monkeys habitats, tropical rainforests. Monkeys live in many places in the world and love to swing from barn to barn the monkeys. In this book, they live in Costa Rica and Central America. Down in panda habitat is bamboo forest. Pandas live in bamboo forests and love to chew bamboo sprouts. The giant panda in this book lives in China in Asia. The crocodile live in marshland. Crocodiles live in tropical climates and love to lie still and pretend to be lost. The crocodiles in this book live in the Dominican Republic in the Caribbean Sea. Kangaroo. Kangaroo habitat is the outback. Kangaroos live in Australia on high plants called outback. Female kangaroos carry their babies in a pouch on their stomachs. The red kangaroo in this book lives near the rangeland of Western. New South Wales in Australia. Lion habitats. The plants lions live in Africa. They travel in families called prides. The lions in this book live in Kenya in Africa. The penguin. The penguin is South Hemisphere. Penguins live on every continent in South Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere. The male emperor penguin holds the egg in his feet and covers it with his warm feathers while the female hunts for food. The penguin in this book lives in Antarctic, near the South Pole. Elephants, grasslands. Elephants live in Africa and Asia. They have very long noses called trunks, which they can use like a hose to wash their young. The animals in this book live near Namibia in Africa. Whales. Whales habitat ocean. Whales live in every ocean of the world. They are mammals in the breath air and like to blow the water out of their air. Tubes. The whales in this book live in the Atlantic Ocean near the main Menin in the North America. Child, children live all over the world. They love to play and laugh. The children in this book live near you. So that was our book. Okay, so I'm going to ask one, each one of you, okay, when I call your name, tell me about the book and what did you think? Eric? Eric, can you tell us about the book and what did you think about it? Um, I thought it was nice. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Jody, what did you think about the book? The animals. Do you like the animals? Awesome. Amy, what did you think about the book? Amazing. Awesome. Thank you. It also made me feel tired. <laughs> did it make you feel tired? Sorry. Saxon, what did you think about the book? Excellent. 
Awesome. Ria, what did you think about the book? I the book was excellent and I love them the most. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, guys, now that you know Les Saxon, Um, one spider doesn't live in um, the web of the tarantula. Their weight is too heavy for their they weight, so they burrow, they burrow down. Sure, thank you. Do you want a tarantula? <laughs> I mean, either. I'm scared of it. Okay, now that you know about habitats and animals in an amazing environment, Let's My enjoy a song about habitats to end off our lesson. Okay, so you guys are going to listen to a song I'm going to share with you now. And then don't say goodbye yet, okay? So we're going to listen to the song and then we're going to say goodbye, right? Can you see it? Put up your hand if you can see it. You can sing along if you want. I can't hear it. Me neither. I can't hear it, ma'am. Do you not hear it? No. Yes, all five or six of us. Okay, hey, so just sing along. Hey, did you all see the song? Hello? Yes. Okay, did you enjoy it? Yes. Okay, guys, I'm just going to chat to you quickly about your worksheet. Okay, I don't know if you can see it here. Okay, so there's your worksheet. The first page is, what is your habitat? You're just going to read through it. Okay. Then you have okay, but I right. didn't scraggy broken mark. Okay, Ames, just listen to me first and then I'll ask you at the end, okay? Right. Okay. Think and share, you're going to answer the questions, okay? And then this tells you different things about your habitats, right? There's two, three pages. In activity two is that sentence we did, we're going to complete. Okay. Then this is that post I was telling you about that you're going to make about your habitat. You're going to circle your favorite habitat and you're going to do your poster. And then the last one is about the book we've just read. Okay. Okay. Right, so that is your worksheets for Friday about cultural. If you have any questions, just put up your hand so I can answer them for you. Eric? Um, post optional. Say again, I couldn't hear you. Is the poster optional? It is optional, but it would be nice if you can do it. Okay. Any other questions? Anyone got questions? Jody? Can I, I don't have any questions. Okay. Just hold on, Amy. We're speaking to Jody now. Jody, what did you say? Teacher call today is my cat's Will you wish your dad a happy birthday for me?
Thank you. Saxon, any questions? No? Ria, any questions? Um, no, I was just going to say, me and my dad and my family are moving to another house in September. Oh, you moved to another house in September? Yes. That's very cool. Still in, where, where are you moving to? Still in the same area you live in? No. Where are you moving oh, yeah. to now? Um, uh, I don't know yet. Uh, okay, so, well, that's awesome news. Thank you for sharing with me. Okay, guys, if you have any other questions, tell me now as we're going to have to say goodbye and I'll see you guys soon. See you soon. Can't wait to see you on Monday. <laughs> I don't think you'll see me on Monday, my angel, but you will see me soon, okay? Okay. Okay, bye, Ames. Bye, Eric. Bye, Dodie. Bye, Sax. Bye, Ria. Have a good day, bye. guys. Bye. Have a weekend. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.